What are while loops? What are do while loops? And what's the difference between them? Hey guys, I'm Ludwig and in this video I'm going to answer exactly those questions. So before doing some practical examples, let's have a look at the documentation and see what it tells us about while loops in Kotlin. So the documentation reads, while and do while loops execute their body continuously while their condition is satisfied. The difference between them is the condition checking time. While checks the condition and if it's satisfied, executes the body and then returns to the condition check. Do while executes the body and then checks the condition. If it's satisfied, the loop repeats. So the body of the do while executes at least once regardless of the condition. Okay, cool. So now we know the theory about while loops. So let's do an example. Let's switch to the coding view. Okay, so the syntax goes as follows. We start with the while keyword, then we open up parentheses and in there we put a condition. And as long as this condition is satisfied, the code inside the block after the while is executed. So to have some condition to check, we're going to create an integer. We say var i and it's equal to zero. And we say as long as i is smaller than five, we want to do something. So we say i smaller than five and then we open up curly braces and in the body, we put the code we want to execute as long as i is smaller than five. So let's just print i, we say print line and we insert i and now also let's increment i. Okay, so now let's run the code. And you can see it prints out zero, one, two, three, and four. And after this final iteration, i is equal to five and therefore it's not smaller than five anymore. And therefore the code inside the while isn't executed anymore. Okay, so let's do a little bit more practical example. Let's say we want to ask the user for an input and check whether the input is correct. As long as it isn't, we just want to repeat and ask her or him again. So we're going to create a var input and it's of type string. Now we ask the user for the input. So we say print line and pass in please enter the password. And then we read something into input. So we say input is equal to and then we use the standard library built-in function readline and we get an error because readline returns a nullable string. So we have to add a question mark here. And now let's say our password is secret and we want to check whether the user entered the correct password. So while the input is not equal to secret, we want to repeat this code section. So we can just copy it and paste it in here. Now let's try it out. Now, as long as I pass in something else than secret, you can see it just asks me again. But if I pass in secret, you can see the code terminates. Now, this looks a little bit odd because of the repetition. Those two lines here are just copy and pasted down here. And we can do this a little bit better with the do while loop. The do while loop, if you remember from the beginning, first executes a block of code and then checks the condition. And if the condition is still true, it executes the section again. So we can remove this part here and we cut this part here. We insert a do and then we put the while here. And now when we run the code, it just goes into this block here, executes it and then checks the condition. So we have the same behavior, but a little bit more concise and expressive. So if we run it again, you can see I can pass in something other than secret and it will ask me again for the password. And if I pass in secret, the code terminates. And that's it on while loops in Kotlin. If you have some questions, please share them in the comments. If you learned something in this video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.